Hello everybody, in today's video I'm gonna go ahead and show every single one of you beautiful individuals on how to become a VTuber. You're only gonna need three applications and a camera and that's about it. This is pretty much targeted for beginners, people that are just getting started. But yeah, for the people that are just here to get through the video quickly, there are some timestamps in the description below. And if you guys wouldn't mind, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Woo! Alrighty, all the links to all these applications will be in the description below as well. So go ahead and click on those to get yourself started. Uh, so for the first application you're going to want to download is Vroid. This is pretty much the application that helps you make your model. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and get to uh, learn more right here where it says Vroid Studio. Click on learn more and then we're going to download the application here. The next application that you're going to want to download is VC Face. It's pretty much going to be what tracks your movement. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down. It should be a, right here, a little section right here that says download. Uh, the version might depend on on whichever whenever you're watching the video but yeah go ahead and download that and then once you download that we're gonna move on to the next one the next application that you're gonna want to go ahead and download is gonna either it depends on you it's either uh, streamlabs obs or obs studio it just depends on what you prefer uh, i went ahead and downloaded streamlabs because it's for me it's more clean and organized uh, so I can just go ahead and download whichever one you whichever one you prefer. So once you have downloaded all the applications, you're gonna want to go ahead and open up Vroid Studios first. You're gonna go ahead and click on New Avatar. These are some sample avatars that you can use. We're gonna go ahead and click on New Avatar. Uh, you're gonna select whatever you identify as. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this mail. And once you get in here, they're gonna be there's gonna be a lot of options. You can you can go ahead and customize your character however you want to. You can change the size, you can change the clothing, whatever you want to do. You can go ahead and mess around with this yourself. Uh, but if you guys want a more in-depth video on this, just let me know and I'll make a video for you guys. Uh, but yeah, just leave leave it in the comment section below, letting me know. But yeah, for, for the sake of the video, we're just gonna go ahead and move on and continue. Let's just say that we finished our character, we got everything that we wanted. You're gonna wanna go to where it says on the top right camera slash exporter. You're gonna click on that. And then on the left side, it's gonna say, you're gonna get a few more options. You're gonna go down to export. And then once you click on that, this is pretty much where we're gonna be downloading our character onto our computer. And then you're gonna click on export on the right side again. And then just name your character, whatever you wanna call it. So we're just gonna call him Tom. We're just gonna call him Tom, you go Tom. And uh, the author is me, of course. And there we go, we got that done. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and click on continue, uh, okay. And then just save the file to wherever you want, to wherever you can find it. I'm gonna save it directly to my desktop for the convenience of myself. And here we go, save and perfect. Now that we have downloaded our character file, we can go ahead and start opening up VC Face. So go ahead and open it up and then you're going to be presented with this page right here. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and, and click on add avatar. And then we're going to download our character here. So our VRM file. So let's go ahead and click on that here. Let's download our file and boom, there we go. Now we have our beautiful Tom right here. So on the right side, you have your camera. So select your camera, select the camera frame rate, the quality and your microphone. And that's pretty much it with that. And then you're just going to go ahead and click on your, your character and then hit start. Hello everybody, look at that, we are now beautiful Tom. And yes, I am glowing, that's just because of the settings that I have set up for my character. But you can go ahead and mess around with your own settings. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and stay like this. But if y'all want a video on that as well, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll make one, I'll gladly make one for every single one of you. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're, not, we're gonna not do anything with this for now. And let's go ahead and move on to our recording software. Let's get that set up. We are now here in our recording software, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and come here whether you're on OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. Just go to where it says sources and click on this little plus sign right here, right in the middle. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a game capture. This is pretty much so that we can add transparency. So uh, add source, and then we're gonna click on the bottom left here, it says add new source instead, and then just name it whatever you want to. We're gonna go ahead and call it Tom for our friend Tom here. And there we go. So this little menu right here on the right is gonna pop up. We're gonna wanna go ahead and select mode and then you're gonna select capture specific window. And then right here where it says window, you're gonna select the VC face uh, application that you're using. And then once you do that, you're gonna come down here and click on allow transparency. This is pretty much gonna get rid of the background and then also take off the cursor because you, when you're streaming or recording, whatever you're doing with this, uh, you're gonna, you don't wanna see your little mouse flying around in front of your face. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all you gotta do with that. So go ahead and click done. And there we go. Now your character should be transparent. Let's make it a little bit bigger. 
but as you can see there will be some text in the background right here so just go ahead and place your character wherever you want him so we're gonna put him over here on the right side I uh, know put it right here like right, right in the middle so we can see everything but yeah once you uh so to get rid of this text on the right side you're gonna want to go ahead and reopen the application once you have reopened the vc face application all you're gonna want to do is just go ahead and click on the little square right down here in the bottom right and that's pretty much it and then it should disappear and to get rid of the little square itself just click on space and that's pretty much it and uh, yeah you can go ahead and just get started like this now when we go back to streamlabs you're gonna see that it's completely empty and ready to go uh, hopefully this helped every single one of you individuals like i said if you guys want more videos for me teaching you guys how to do other things just let me know some suggestions in the comment section below hit that like button if this helped you guys and but yeah thank you all so much for watching y'all have a great day y'all is amazing and beautiful take care bye bye